live in Sherman Oaks with that. Annie Rose, good morning. Hey, Frank, good morning to you. 30 years ago today at 4.30, 4.31 a.m., that is when that 6.7 magnitude struck. And for those who are living in L.A. or are from L.A., the big question is, where were you when that moment happened? Now, I want to bring in Captain Eric Scott from L.A. City Fire Department. We are at Disaster City. We're going to talk about why in a second, but where were you the moment that earthquake happened? Well, unlike most people who were in bed, I was actually on the freeway. Uh, we were going snowboarding. I remember the drive. I thought he was trying to wake me up because the car was shaking wow. so much. And then we see all the vehicles pulled to the side. Yeah. Uh, you could see blue lights popping in the hillsides from all the transformers. And then we started to see the infrastructure of the freeway was actually damaged. That clued us into the significant uh, aspect of the severity of what we're dealing with. So we, everybody went home. And actually for days, people camped in their front lawns. They were worried about the house collapse. I mean, uh, chimneys were falling in and separating. So little tents in the front yard for several days. Got to know your, your neighbors really well. It kind of reminded me of post 9-11, where the community came together after a significant disaster and helped each other through tough times. You don't think about that, like how, how scared you were with the aftershocks and the tremors after that, where you were sleeping outside for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody came together. They collected, you know, what goods they had. There was worries of water and power and heat. And mm -hmm. so uh, it was Cell def phone service was out. Yeah. Um, Heck, we're on like pagers back then, I think. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, fast forward three decades to now. As I mentioned, we're standing here at L.A. City Fire Department's Disaster City. Yes. What are we doing here? Well, it's an excellent opportunity to not just remember the devastation and the deadly aspect of that earthquake, but a reminder that it's not if, it's when we're going to get the next significant one. So how are we prepared collectively? We have our community emergency response team to talk about how people need to know how to shut off their own utilities and waters and gas after an earthquake. And now we're also going to show you the urban search and rescue team, the confined space specialists, who are going to go through and they're going to breach and break through concrete. We're going to run our canines just like we would in a real emergency to find people that are trapped in rubble. We're going to bring the actual team out who would cut that concrete, pull it apart, and rescue people. So an excellent demonstration of the, of the new team, uh, the tools, and the extensive training they have for us to be prepared. And again, we're really trying to empower the community to join us in that preparedness. Right, because we've come a long way since then about learning about preparedness for when that big disaster strikes when you you say it isn't a question of if it's a matter of question of when and you want people to be prepared now I know we're also gonna hear I, I can see them setting up behind us mm -hmm. um, it's gonna start in about an hour we're gonna see that in about an hour but we're also gonna hear from firefighters who were serving back then on the day of the Northridge earthquake is that right you're right so they've been retired but we're pulling three of them out of retirement shaking off the dust and saying hey <laughs> you were boots on the ground what did you go through? How did you affect rescues? And, and, and when people hear those, those firsthand experiences of, of how significant uh, the rubble was and people died and what had happened, it's a great call to action. It reminds us we, we got to be prepared. Well, we know they were doing some heroic work. Um, we look forward to hearing from them. Thank you so yes. much, Captain Scott.